Hi, my name is Ashok and today we are going to see the topic on how to add the plugin for Outlook. In SAV by Design, by going to Application and User Management, Download Center, you will be able to find an SAP add-in for Microsoft Outlook. Try to click on the icon Download. The system automatically downloads that particular add-in. Once the add-in is downloaded, install it in your system. As I've already done that, I just want to show you how the uh, plugin will display in Outlook. So can you see a tab SAP by design in Outlook? As this is the latest version of Outlook, you will be able to uh, navigate from in and out of any of the options that is available in the Outlook. This latest version helps you like to integrate between SAP by design and Outlook. The data in Outlook can also be synchronized in SAP by design. Now let me show you how to log in to SAP by design from Outlook. Click on login. A pop-up comes where you have to enter the URL which I have already entered and the username and enter the password. Once you have done with this, click on login. Now the system is logged in. So basically what happens here, you can synchronize your email by adding a reference to your account or a contact, which usually comes in your SAP by design under activities, which I'll be showing you now. So go to account management and activities and select all e all email activities so here you will be able to see the email activities which and all you've added as a reference to those accounts basically the outlook account which has been synchronized in sap by design the account which is there in sap by design only those emails can be added to that particular account so now let's go into the email which is synchronized already. For example, I have synchronized an email for a test case. So now what happens over here? I've just set it as a create an order. An order has been created. So many things I have mentioned in this particular email. So based on which I can create a follow up activities on that particular activity. So subsequent activities can be mapped. So these are the follow up activities where you can use it and create subsequent tasks accordingly as per your business need. Now let's go into the outlook. Let's find out what is the other synchronization, synchronization happening from outlook to business by design. There is a calendar where you can add the appointments. These kinds of uh, appointments get synchronized in your business by design. Now, the next option is the accounts and the contacts. Basically, the Outlook will display whichever account you have logged in in Outlook. Those accounts which are coming across in the Outlook will only display over here. Both accounts and contacts. Whatever is there in business by design will get synchronized to your Outlook account. For example, a salesperson is given an Outlook option to access e his email. So he has logged in his particular email in Outlook. So all the accounts, whichever has been assigned to that salesperson will get reflected over here. So basically, you can create an account over here. And also, you can my this will get automatically synchronized to your 
business by design system. So it is vice versa. So next is the task. Task you can do like a to-do list, which will again reflect in the customer's uh, activity list under accounts. So if you could see, you can see the activities, kind of appointments, activity tasks, and everything over here, which will get reflected. So based on which you can do a follow-up activities as per your need and the business. So once the synchronization of uh, SAP by design and the Outlook is done, all the data from Outlook will flow to business by design. This is very easy to get it attached with an SAP by design. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in next video.